this video, we're going to show you how to add notes and colors to your script to help organize. You'll notice the blue line of text at the bottom of each action that we've added into Foxtrot. What these are is basic action notes. You can come in and just add any bit of information that helps users to know what exactly this action does. The amount of data that can be added or the amount of notes that can be added to each action is endless, and it helps others to better understand the action that is partaking. You can add different things to the script, such as spaces, lines, and notes within your script to help the person running your script to know exactly what will happen next. Notes can be added, and when you click OK, the note will be added to the very bottom of each action. You can go into each action and add a note for every single action that you create. Foxtrot does not need you to add a note, but notes are very helpful for people running the script. It is also good practice to add notes for possible errors that may occur on certain steps and explain usual fixes. In our previous script, you'll see how we did the Excel form five steps at a time. Now we can cordon off these five steps and apply a color that will help you designate between the steps between actions. So here, every five steps, we're going to give it a different color. So you know that something different happens in each of these five steps. You can also come over to the Tools tab and select a main note that will just be added as an action in your script. You will see how the note gets added just like a step within your script. But this note gives you information on what is going to happen following. You can also add spaces to help section off actions in your script. And in the Tools tab as well, you can also add lines. What this helps you to do is organize your script and depict one part from the other. We can also come up to our task and edit our task itself and change the name from new task to whatever we want or even add a note to our task. The same thing goes with our variables. If you go in and edit your variable, you'll see the note tab on the very bottom of the add variable action. The note will be added right underneath the variable name. And you can look through the project pane on the right and add and expand those windows as well. Thank you for tuning in. Stay tuned for more videos.